Good morning and welcome to chapel. After nearly a decade of planning, Northwestern is ready to make the dream a reality. The Northwestern Board has approved the new athletic facilities through the SOAR campaign. The new complex will include fields for football and soccer, and both baseball and softball fields. Tennis courts will also be making their way back onto UNW's campus. These new facilities will also feature a stadium complete with locker rooms, concessions, and bathrooms. Uh, we will get the fields in August, the football soccer field, because that's when football and soccer training camps start. The stadium will be getting completed sometime right around September for our first home games. And then they'll finish the softball, tennis courts, and baseball fields in the fall, around in the September timeline. UNW hopes that the new facilities will help bring in more students. Back to school does not necessarily mean back to work. About 16 students signed up to go on a campus retreat to Camp Lebanon this past weekend. For $30, students got the chance to go tubing, play broomball, or just relax. Why have a retreat the weekend after winter break? Well, timing was a factor since Monday was a holiday. Paul Bradley, the Dean of Student Development, said that Northwestern used to do trips like this, and they're trying to revive the idea. Participants said they enjoyed the experience and look forward to doing it again next year. The beginning of the semester brings in new students and new employees. If you take the shuttle to class or chapel, you may have noticed someone new behind the wheel. Unless you have been a part of Northwestern's football team, you may not recognize the new campus shuttle driver. He is no stranger to Northwestern. 16 years ago, Coach George Pulkey started working on campus as the athletic recruiter and assistant football and basketball coach. I coach the tight ends and uh, special teams. And uh, two weeks ago, I was working out in the Erickson Center, and Pete Sola came in and said, we need a driver. Can you do it for a while? Though it might seem strange that a coach is shuttling students from class to class, Pulkey is no rookie when it comes to bus driving. That's why I put myself through college way back in the dark ages. I'm also employed by Richfield Bus Company. During the winter, students typically prefer riding the shuttle to facing the dangerously cold wind chills. This means some highly overcrowded rides to and from chapel. The bus only seats 45, but leave it to Pulkey to cram as many students in as possible. Keep pushing them back. <laughs> I'm pretty big, so I can get up and push. <laughs> Just before chapel, uh, we had close to 80 on here. Uh, the most we've had is 85. Coach Pulkey will only be driving until a full-time replacement driver is found. Although he enjoys chatting with students and forming new relationships, Pulkey is looking forward to spending more time with his new granddaughter. For Eagle 7 News, I'm Joe Sutton. If you have a Class B driver's license and are interested in being paid to drive the shuttle, you should talk to Pete Sola. Now here's Josette with the forecast. How's it looking, Josette? Well, there is hope, even if that hope is only for today. Today is going to be the warmest day that we've seen in a long time, with a high of 31 degrees. Saturday and Sunday, it's going to drop down a little bit, but it will stay above zero, so that's always a good sign. Then Monday, it's going to drop down to a low of negative 18 degrees. Bundle up on your way to classes. It's going to be cold. Luckily, it'll warm up a little bit. Hopefully, the rest of the week will be better. We'll get more weather back to you next week. Jordan? The stud has been kind of quiet lately. With our reputation for an abundance of acoustic guitar players, we sent out Andrew Gullickson to find out the reason for the silence. All right, guys, just a quick question for you, all right? Okay. Have you or have you not noticed a lack of acoustic guitar playing men in the student center? I guess so, yeah. Have you or have you not noticed in the student center a lack of acoustic guitar playing men. I have noticed. I'm not in here very often, but the times I have been in here, there has been playing in there. Do you see any acoustic guitars at all? No. No? Do, do you know why that is? Um, no. Have you or have you not noticed a really big lack of acoustic guitar playing men here in the student center since the semester has started? Yes or no? I have and it's great. Is there any other uh, kind words you guys have to share? Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Depends on how good the playing is. Okay. I'm really happy that it's not here anymore. It, used, it made me pissed. <laughs> yeah, I think they're pretty cute. 
<laughs> I completely agree. It's kind of sad. Thank you for your thoughts. You are With Northwestern's annual film festival coming up in April, students are busy preparing their entries. Tara Tomey caught up with one film student, Krista Costner, to get the details on this popular event. This is the night film lovers have been waiting for. It's the night when hard work, long hours, and late nights finally come to an end. It's the 516 Film Festival. I caught up with a veteran filmmaker to get more information on the festival. My name is Krista Kester, and I am a film production major. With categories like drama, documentary, animation, music video, and comedy, filmmakers have the opportunity to explore many different genres. But this night isn't only for the film majors. Uh, anyone can enter into the film festival, so whether you're an engineering major or a film major or uh, just someone who likes to do stop motion or something like that, you can, you can enter. Submissions for the film festival are due March 17th by 10 a.m. sharp. I think it's a great way to bring community together, um, not only to showcase what our film students have done, but also to cultivate um, a culture on campus of making and showing art with each other um, for a purpose. The film festival will be held on April 14th, so come out and get all dolled up to support your friends and fellow students. I'm so excited for the film festival. Me too. I, it's, it's one of the best events of the year. Absolutely. I can't believe last year was the first year I went. Hey, it's, it was mine it's, too. It's but, a bummer. I mean, I was a freshman, so I mean, what do you do? I guess you have an excuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you submitting anything this year? I'm not planning on it at this point, but <laughs> who knows, maybe something will come up. Well, we could always make a documentary about your life. About my life? Well, I suppose I do know a lot about myself. <laughs> Well, that's all the news we have for you. Be sure to check us out online and tell us your story ideas. Thank you for watching Eagle 7 News and have a fantastic Friday.